So there's there's a cracking open, I think, that's really important here, which is an injection of humility into into the stories that we're taking. And so there's where I see us as really having some hope amidst the transformations of this century are where we have found a balance between reasonable surety that we know how to act in the world with the flexibility and the adaptability to adjust the story upon which the strategies are based, thanks to the ability of our technological systems to expand beyond the registered variables. And so like to get back to the replicability crisis in science, you know, like one of the things I remember years and years ago, Charles Eisenstein talking about this, I think in the, the Ascent of Humanity, is that there was a scientific experiment where they got very different results growing plants underground at different times, and they couldn't figure it out until they realized, because it wasn't the sun, they had controlled for the light, they realized it was the tidal influence of the moon. Yeah, the moon has just as much of an influence, right? Yeah. And uh, starlight, uh, things of that nature, they've also seen in the national laboratories. I've had dramatic changes in growth, and some of the greatest growth yields can actually happen in the twilight hours. Right. When at first we're like, the sun's required for the growth. So it's this ability to see around the corner, like outside of the constraints of our models, outside of the variables we've selected, to see the externalities of our approach, to identify correlations in the semantic relationships that we have not yet managed to make legible in our systems, in our thinking. Like basically, like 